Hey there, Dr. T in the lab. I uh, had a few patients who had questions about reconstituting their peptides, and I wanted to go through that simple procedure here real quick, uh, starting off with some fresh supply. This is how I do my, this is the 40 milligram terzepatides. I also do that with some of the other peptides that I'm using with patients. It all starts with the bacteriostatic water reconstitution solution. Uh, very straightforward, you just take an alcohol swab, you clean the top of your peptide container, which usually comes in a powder form first, and then clean the top of your uh, reconstitution solution, that's the bacteriostatic water. Very straightforward, you start with two vials. You got powder, you have liquid, and then you have a syringe that will deliver the liquids. This is just a 1 ml syringe, 1 cc. Usually people are doing either 1, 2, sometimes 5, sometimes 10 cc's. But this one in particular, I used a 6 cc, uh, 6 cc volume of bacteriostatic water. And for this little one, I'm just using a 1 cc. So super straightforward. You just take your alcohol swab, you pop the caps on your bacteriostatic water, you clean the pukas, and then you pop the cap of your peptide, whatever that might be, and clean the little stopper there as well. And for this one in particular, I'm just gonna use one cc of bacteriostatic water. Just hold it upside down like this, and then using the stage formation hand, you insert your needle, then you hold the syringe against your palm here and then you just draw out one cc and that's 10 on this syringe the one mil syringe always cap it when you're done so you don't stick yourself by accident then all we do is just reconstitute the powder so i'm just going to hold my vial of powder here I'm going to stick the needle in the plunger. The plunger is clean, alcoholed it before, insert it, and then inject the fluid. It's basically that straightforward. Now that the fluid is in there, it's reconstituting the powder. For some peptides, you might wanna swirl a little bit. Some peptides, you wanna be super gentle and just sort of leave it uh, to dissolve on its own. And after it's been mixed properly, then you can start dispensing it back into your needles that you're gonna to use to inject. So with this in particular, this is a 10 unit vial. I'm just gonna be drawing up one tenth of an ml each time, so it's one dose. And you do 10 syringes like this up to the 10 mark. You can see the 10 there. So right up to that would be exactly one unit of this peptide. Pretty straightforward. I hope that answers all your questions. If anything comes up ever with any of this, just be sure to contact me directly. If anybody's listening to this video or watching this video, you already have my contact information. Just reach out, let me know. I'm happy to call you and we can talk through uh, the ins and outs, the nuances, and um, the care that you need to make sure you're dispensing your medications properly and safely. Thank you.